Hi, my name's Lachlan. I'm from the Sat Phone Shop team, and today I'm going to be showing you the Iridium Go. The Iridium Go is a portable device that pairs with your smartphone through Wi-Fi and allows you to make calls and texts inside the Iridium Go app. Android, iPhone or iPad are supported and up to five users can connect to the Iridium Go. Multiple people can text but only one person can call or take a call at a time. Phone contacts will be imported into the app for ease of access. The Iridium Go has a standby time of up to 15 and a half hours and a talk time of up to five and a half hours. The Iridium Go has an IP65 rating, which means the device is jet water, dust and shock resistant and will prevent any harmful deposits from entering. The swivel antenna is not only for obtaining a satellite signal to the satellites, but it also allows you to turn on and shut down the Iridium Go. You can also power on the Go by pushing the manual power button located at the top of the device. SOS can be triggered in two different ways, through the Iridium Go app, or you can also push the SOS button on the side of the device. The display screen on the Iridium Go provides important information at a glance, such as your battery level, your satellite signal strength, the number of users connected to the Iridium Go, incoming notifications for missed voicemails or text messages. You can also see if you are connected to the network by the LED color indicators. A red light would indicate that there is no signal and a green light would mean that you are registered to the network. The two buttons underneath the screen allow you to navigate other information such as sending a quick GPS or adjusting the language. The charging port is located next to the SOS button. Using the supplied USB cable, you can charge the Iridium Go with either the wall or car charger. Your SIM card is installed in the back of the Iridium Go. If your SIM card is not already installed, Unscrew the backing cover with either a flathead screwdriver or a coin. Remove the battery. Slide the SIM tray forward and lift. Insert the SIM card in the same direction as the tray outline. Close the SIM tray and slide from the hinges to lock it in place. And then pop the battery back in with the gold contact side touching the gold prongs on the Iridium Go. To connect your Iridium Go to your smart device, download the Iridium Go app from your app or Google Play Store. Raise the antenna to turn it on. It will take approximately 40 seconds to boot up. Put your device on airplane mode or turn off mobile data and connect to the Iridium Go in your Wi-Fi list. It will be the one that displays as Iridium followed by a few numbers. Open up the app and allow all permissions. The main menu will display. At the top left will be three icons representing your smart device, the Iridium Go device and your satellite connection. Red lines between these icons indicates that you're not connected with either icon. Log into the app with guest as the username and the password. We are now logged in as per the one icon. When operating the Iridium Go, ensure you have clear line of sight to the sky, away from any obstructions around you. There are nine icons displayed on the main menu once logged in. Settings represents all your device and application settings. Advanced settings allows you to edit Wi-Fi settings, such as adding a password to your Wi-Fi login and user management to limit access to features within the Iridium Go. If you ever get stuck with any feature inside the app, the help icon will provide more information about each of these. Contacts is where you add your recipients. SOS is for activating your emergency beacon to your designated contact for calling and texting. Twitter is unfortunately no longer supported for use in the app. Call icon is for making and receiving calls. Track will cover tracking and GPS location and sending a quick GPS to a specific contact in set intervals for example, every 30 minutes. 
message will be for sending and receiving messages. The SOS button can either be set up with the 24-7 Global Emergency Centre or you can assign your own contacts to the button. GEOS is a global emergency centre based in the USA and they'll send local assistance based on where your GPS position is. Whether you use GEOS or a designated person, if you trigger the SOS within the app, you will be able to communicate with your contact over a phone call to relay more information. You will need to register your details with the IERCC and confirm these details in the SOS settings inside the app. More information about setting this up can also be found in the black SOS booklet supplied in your box. While the Iridium Go data speed is only 2.4 kilobits per second, there are some external apps that are supported which will allow you to do satellite emailing and marine weather. Please ensure the plan you choose caters for data usage. If you have any questions or need help with selecting a plan, please contact Satphone Shop. To call, click the green call icon and be sure to enter any numbers in the international format. So plus six one, drop the zero and dial the rest of the number. Hold down the zero key until a plus appears and enter the remaining numbers of your phone number. You can also click the globe icon to automatically prefix a specific country code. Your contacts will have been ported into the app, so you can also select these if these have been also saved in the correct format. For the calling menu, your first icon is your standard dialing keypad. The star is your favorites list. The clock is your call log history. And the two circle icon is your voicemail system if enabled. For texting, select the orange message icon. Create a new message by clicking the box with the pen icon. You can then type your phone number in the international format, or you can choose someone from your contacts list by either pressing the blue person icon for Android or the circle with the plus for Apple users. Download the mail and web app for text-based emailing. You will need to set up a new satellite email address by filling out the details at www.iridium.com forward slash mail and web. Once registered, you will need to enter these details into the mail and web app. When logging into the app for the first time, there will be a warning message stating emergency contact has not been configured for emergency services. This is regarding the setup of the SOS button and can be set up at a later stage. 